Shalom, Allah start out by giving all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, by Uh double honors to the apostles, the great millstone, citations to the hopeful lit, the spiritual truth, across the four corners of the truth, sincerity, charity, all right, this is the brother, I'm going to want to buy from the Birmingham camp, I'm going to GMS, I'm just going to get the sentence going to, um, just about you know how how America fate is sealed, you know. Uh, this place is uh falling apart, you know. Uh, spiritually, you know, the men of the Lord are tearing his word down, um, telling it tell, tearing down so called white man Esau Edomite's kingdom, you know, America, Babylon the Great, by the word, you know. You know, um the prophecies are, you know, unfolding, speaking, you know. Then eventually it's gonna manifest and make gonna be made known really clear when the Lord Yahweh Shah returns. You know, he's gonna return the so called UFO, which is the chariots, you know, and he's gonna eventually he's gonna uh wipe out this place, America of Babylon the Great, off the face of the earth, you know. So I'm getting to it. This Revelation is eighteen one. And after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightning 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 with his glory. So who's that angel? The angel that came down, came down of heaven with great power is uh who y'all people call Jesus, but you no, know, in the real name Hebrew. In Hebrew, he had a Hebrew name, really. In the Hebrew tongue is Yahweh Shai. You know, it's not no Jesus Christ. You know, uh, it's not uh, you know, uh, with y'all people. You know, y'all y'all just cause it says that in the Bible, don't that that that's not Hebrew. That's Greek. That is Greek. So. You know, you know, just get understanding that you no know, Lord, you no know, the Lord, the real name of the Lord, you know, is in Hebrew, name which name is Yahweh Shai. But you know, that's the what that's the what they're talking about. You know, the angel that came down for heaven, <clears throat> which you know the Lord, you know, he he gonna, he, he gonna return in the so-called UFO chariot, you know, with, with that great power and glory, you know. But next verse, Revelation 18, 2, and he cried mightily with and he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and is and, and is become the habitation of devils, and the whole of every foul spirit, and 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 a cage to every unclean and hateful bird. So yeah. You know. <clears throat> so it's gonna vision, you know, you know, Babylon, you know, the great, which is America, it's gonna fall, man, it's gonna be destroyed, you know. You know, at last, last, you know, it's, it's going to be no more. You know, this wicked kingdom, the so-called white man, you know, America, you know, this wicked, this wicked, you know, rulership, you know, of these devils, or the so-called white man, so-called white man, he's out, eat them. You know, this place, this, this, <laughs> this hellhole, America is going to be wiped out, man. No more of these pains and sufferings, you know, dealing with losses and. You know, just out of control madness, you know, of this place, you know, confusion. That's what this place is, man. You know, you know America is nothing but confusion, man. You know, you don't know which way to turn, you know. You know, which you don't want to go this way, that way. You know, they telling you this, they telling you that, you know. You know why this, this place is just, you know, it's full of lies and robbery and rape, more rape, you know. You devil, so called white man, Esau Edom might have done, you know. Built on, built this, built they, uh, <clears throat> they, uh, kingdom on lies, rape, 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 rob, and murder, and lies, man, and deception, you know. But that's gonna be done away with once the Lord Yahweh Shah returns. And, and it's being done away with right now through the men of the Lord. This teaching is word and truth is sincerity, you know. This truth is being spring, uh, sprung out, you know. You no, know, the, the truth is, is being, uh, coming out and, re and revealing. The so-called white man Esau Edomites, and who they are, you know, who's in root, who's why you think why things like they is why you know why is this why is that you know because of the so-called white man Esau Edom the red man is in rulership you know, you know we're exposing these devils for all their lies and you know they put out there, you know, you know the you know so forth man the imagery the they put out false image image images and you know. Going into the real image of the Lord and so forth, you know, the name, all that, man. You know, I'm telling you who the real children of Israel are, who the Israelites are, you know. So-called Negro, Latino, Native, all the Israelites and so forth, man. 
we are breaking down the strongholds and lies and the deception of the of this uh, of the so-called white man you saw Edomite, man, you know. So from there, I'll go to uh, I'll skip on down to eighteen Revelation eighteen seventeen. For in one hour, so great riches has come to naught for every shipmaster and all the company ships and sailors, and at, and, at, and as many as trade by sea stood far off. So in one hour. You know, all the great riches, you know, is going to come to naught, you know. Matter of fact, read that, read that one more time. Revelation 18 and 17. For in one hour so great riches has come to naught, and every shipmaster and all the company and ships and sailors and men as trade by sea still fall off. So, yeah, all the and how America get a lot of stuff <clears throat> coming in, you know. They get a lot of stuff coming in and going out. So, all these other nations, they ship, think, ship all their goods here and stuff to America, so, you know. So it could be sold or whatever in stores, where it may be, you know. And one hour is gonna come to not, man. You know, it's gonna be destroyed. You know, once the Lord y'all shot returns, you know. You know. But on this verse, Revelation eighteen eighteen, and cried and 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 cried when they saw the smoke of her burn, saying, "What city is like unto this great city?" So these other nations gonna see the destruction once the Lord y'all was shot. When the Lord y'all about to shot returns. And chariots so called UFOs, you know, ultimately the ultimately the thermonuclear missile is gonna what is gonna be what to it's gonna wipe out America, you know. That's why they're gonna see, you know, the the fire, you know, <laughs> man. Hey, it's gonna be something a sight to see, man. This destruction. Destruction and salvation, you know, of the Israelites, you know, the destruction of America and the salvation of the Israelites, starting with the elect of the Israelites, so called Negro Latin natives, you know. Hopefully I am I'll be part of that righteous number. I'm marked. Hopefully I'm marked for salvation, you know. And the sister brother I'm, I'm teaching with, brothers and labor with, and Paul sales and brother and they're sincerely teaching the word of the Lord. We hopefully, hopefully, we are marked for salvation, not for destruction. But um, but yeah, but when they see it, man, when the other nations see it, you know, they're gonna be like, oh man, they're gonna be in shock, you know. Cause they're like, man, what city is great city? What, what, you know, who gonna What's it gonna be? What is great country gonna be like? America? No, when they say no, America, great country, whatever. What, you know, who? What's next? You know, <laughs> after this, what's next after this city has this great country, whatever, has been destroyed? You know, what's next? What's next gonna be the the the, the rulership of the so called Negro Latino natives? This is gonna be next. You know, you know the Israelites and the, uh, the kingdom of Israel are gonna be established. Gonna be you know, established once you know the smoke clears. From all the smoke and fire that the Lord Yahweh is gonna bring on you know, His wrath here to America, you know, America, you know. But on this verse, Re Revelation eighteen nineteen, and they cast dust on their heads and cried weeping and wailing, saying, "At last, last, great the great city wherein were made rich all the all that were were made rich all that had ships in the sea by reason of a costliness, costliness." For in one hour she is made desolate. So yeah, you know, dust and going through the confusion. Those they cut dust and they you know, they be like, oh, you know, they're gonna be going crazy, you know, you know, <laughs> bugging out, you know, wailing, you know, like, hey man, that old great city like this, you know, made rich and all shit by you know by that had ships in the sea. Like I say, you know, trade, you know, like I say America don't get a lot of stuff going out, they get a lot of stuff coming in, you know. So you know, for one hour it's gonna be made desolate. This place is gonna be no more. It's gonna be wiped out of the face of the earth. You know, once the Lord Yahweh Shah returns, you know, you know. So, you know, all the things that you know, the the, the cars and all this stuff is gonna be made. You know, the cars and houses and the money, all is gonna be no more. You know. So I'm gonna go to Isaiah 39, Babylon the Great Glory of Kingdoms, the beauty of Isaiah, my bad, Isaiah 13, 19. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the, of the Chaldees, excellency shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. So, yeah. Just like, you know, Sodom and Gomorrah was made as, as, as an example. That's how America, Babylon, a great going to be. You know, it's going to be a, uh, made an example. As when the Lord, you know, the Most High, most high you know, <clears throat> Most High Yahweh, you know, threw down uh, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, you know. You know, that was by fire, you know, and it's gonna be by when your Lord Yahweh Shah returns, gonna be by more of a a higher a hotter a hotter fire. <laughs> it's gonna be more a hotter fire, you know, than than one Sodom Gomorrah, you know. 
But um, this verse, Isaiah thirteen twenty, it shall never be inhabited, neither it shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Neither shall the Arabian pinch their tent there, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. So yeah, it's not gonna be inhabited. You know, it ain't gonna be nothing to inhabit it because it's gonna be burnt up. You know, no more of these uh other nations, these Arabs, whatever you know, Ishmael, coming over here. You know, trying to set up their uh their gas station stores or whatever it may be. They try to set up you know the sale and all that. You know, that's gonna be uh no more. You know, that's worse. You know, trying to make money off the Israelites, you know. Because Israel would, most of the so-called Negro Latin and Nazar would, most, they spend more than any, any, any probably other nation, I could say, you know, for like, you know, they got to buy this and buy that, you know. Um, Isaiah 13, 21. But while beasts of the desert, desert shall lie there, the houses shall be full of doleful creatures. Owls shall dwell there and strays shall dance there. So yeah, it's gonna be so once this once the smoke clears, it's gonna be nothing but wild animals, beasts, and you know they're gonna be dwelling here, man. It's, <laughs> you know, it's gonna be a straight desert, nothing, man. Here in America, you know, it's gonna be nothing, man, left over to remember. Only thing it's gonna be a remembrance about how not to come against the Lord Yahweh by Shem Shai. You know, the, the power of the of the Israelites, so called Negro Latino natives. So with that, you know. I don't want to make this too long. I ain't want to make this too long. So again, I like I like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Bahashem, to the Paz elders, to the Sisakin brothers, to the few Akawaf sisters to do listen. Keep the faith in Yahweh. With that, I say Shalom.